and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. Thank you for tuning in. I'm in the fortunate position to have both of these wonderful keyboards on loan to me at the moment. I was going to do demonstrations of the organs on both of these in separate videos, but then I realised I could do them in the same video so that you can hear the sound of these back to back. So these are the demonstrations I'll be doing in today's video. I'll do some comping on the lower manual on both keyboards so you get an idea of what that sounds like. I'll do some jazz blues or something. Many of you have asked for some overdriven rock organ sounds. So I'll demonstrate for you on both keyboards again. We'll do some jazz funk with the percussion on the upper manual, C3 chorus. That's a very common setting. Important to get that right. We'll then do some more overdriven jazz soul grooves with a more aggressive percussion sound perhaps. Then I'll play for you a little gospel groove on both keyboards with some different drawbar settings. And then, interesting, we'll do a demonstration of both with the Leslie rotary speaker switched off so you can hear the DI sound of each organ. Let's get started. <laughs> So we have C3 chorus on both and I have put the brake on the rotary speaker so it's not spinning around at the moment. And I've configured the YC so it's just playing the lower manual. Same drawbar settings, 848. And I'll try and match the volumes, although it's tricky because the EQ curve is so different. The YC has much more top. so much on the sound I forgot to concentrate on what I was actually playing. Now we do have different organ tone wheel models on both of these and if you see me holding down the button here the transpose and pressing these then that's changing between the models. Let's do that quickly now. The default one was a very early C, B, C or something organ I think. Let's change to a B3. <laughs> Then we have an A100, I think, over here. Very subtle difference. We also have three models on the YC. This was H1, Hammond 1, a Hammond organ in pristine condition. Then we have H2. Then 
for those three Hammond organ models there. I love it! Now then, let's dial up the distortion a bit and try some rock organ with the full all drawbars out setting. Okay, so I've got something similar going on here on both of these. I'm going to put the Leslie brake off so that we have a slow rotation. That's going there. Of the three Hammond models, Let's go for Hammond 1, which is the default. And I've gone for the second rotary speaker, which has a little bit more drive and distortion to it. Oh, there's that one there, actually. It's nice. No, hang on. That's it. is off on the upper manual. toggling the stick here. I'm not sure if it's on the, the lever on the camera frame, but uh, that engages the Leslie just like this. This is with the Leslie braked in the stop position. So that's your full organ with lots of overdrive. Let's do the same thing here. We need to chill out a bit after that. Let's do some jazzy funk. I'll reset the organs to the Jimmy Smith setting and we'll do something a little bit funky. <laughs> sensitive. I don't have the 
advantage of dual manuals, of course, on the YC. <laughs> enjoying the demonstration. Let's carry on with something soulful and funky but with a bit more overdrive and I'll change the percussion settings to give it a bit more bite. Let's also turn on the chorus vibrato on the upper. Turn up the overdrive. Maybe I should mention all of the other settings are just on there. As Jack Duxbury likes to say, half mast positions, everything just dialed into the center, which is pretty much what the default settings are there. Same thing on the YC, I haven't really tweaked anything like the, um, the leakage, the cross torque, the, the rotary simulation, everything on the factory settings. When you start adjusting those, there's an infinite amount of combinations to test on both instruments. So we're not going to do that today as much as possible, just using the default settings as it comes out of the box. That is some pretty aggressive uh, uh, percussion there. So percussion on and off, just so you know what the sound of the percussion is doing. Let's do the same thing here. Put the Leslie on break on both of these. That stops the rotor and the baffle on the bottom from spinning around. We will do some demonstrations later with the Leslie simulation disabled entirely so you can hear the sound of the organ dry. <laughs> which is a modified B3, I believe. So we'll use that one for this demonstration. Everything else sounding pretty good. I'll put the Leslie on to the slow speed. Like so. slow. Uh... 
Sorry. Try again. Cherokee there as a little bonus. Okay, we're nearly done and I'm really enjoying playing both of these. I hope you're enjoying listening and finding it interesting. We're nearly done, let's do a little gospel groove. <laughs> Vibrato chorus switched off for the last demonstration, so apologies for that. Now I've got it on the lower manual only. I think it's the same thing here. Yes, correct. Switched off for the upper. Where we have a Groove Holmes type of drawbar setting there. Sounds very groovy. Let's get the volumes matched. Oh, 
then let's bypass the Leslie rotary simulation on both of these so we can hear what the organ sounds like without that effect being applied. In effect, the dry DI output of a Hammond organ. It sounds pretty awesome. It's a sound I really love. So let's take a listen. Um, and yeah, thanks very much for watching this video. <laughs> overdrive as it has been all video actually about halfway in the middle is a pre-drive which simulates the the pre-amplifier of the organ there got it on about half <laughs> chorus as well on the top manual. Sounds really nice. I do like the sound of the YC without the rotary. H1, here's H2. Very, very different character. Here's H3. H2, that means here's H1. Do the same thing here. Bypass the rotary. Give it a touch of drive. Now I must explain also, I don't have an expression pedal connected up today because I only have one and there was no way for me to connect both keyboards with one pedal. So I thought better not to use pedal on either of them. Although it is a sin to do an organ demonstration without the Without the pedal, I, I know that. Let's get a bit of drive. Ah, the uh, chorus. C3. Now we have different organ models here, let's try those. That's the default one. Let's go for that one. Very subtle differences here, much more marked differences on the uh, YC, I think you'd agree. Let's get a groove going. how to play seven steps. Before we go, I'd like to give you a quick update on some changes I've made to the perks and rewards that I offer to my channel members. I made a terrible job of this and forgot half of what I meant to say, so let's try this instead. 
I'm grateful to the generous viewers that support me. It gives me the motivation to keep making these videos and in return, I enjoy giving away some nice rewards and perks. You get access to my piss, piano inspiration series, of course. That's several hours of piano lessons to give you new creative ideas, improve technique and music theory knowledge and broaden your repertoire. I share exclusive behind the scenes videos that are not available anywhere else. Uh, yeah, that's what exclusive means. You get access to my growing collection of groovy backing tracks that I create myself for fun and inspiring practice and performances. Over on Patreon, we have an RSS feed for your podcast app, where I distribute performances and extended demos in the highest possible quality. I also publish your tracks on the feed for everybody in our community to enjoy. After all, it's better than my music. But anyway, I'll give you some of my albums for free when you sign up. I've published written reviews of synths and gear. I put a lot of work into these, so it would be great if someone would actually read them. You get these goodies by becoming a channel member on YouTube or by joining our Patreon community. The price starts at just $1 per month. I'm not greedy. The perks do differ slightly on both platforms, so just check before you sign up or ask me first. So there's never been a better time to get involved. I really do appreciate your generosity. Thank you very much.